Now, I will introduce the assembly process for Cumin SM5 series of robot cars. These are the major parts of the robot car, including chassis, chargers, data cable, main control board, battery, Wi-Fi module, camera, servos, gimbal nylon parts, antennas, DuPont cables, infrared sensors, fastener, ultrasonic wave sensor, and infrared mount. The difference between SM5 and SM5-1 is that SM5-1 has no infrared sensors, ultrasonic wave sensors, infrared mount and DuPont cables, but the manipulator and servo driver board. 1. Firstly, take out the related fasteners from the accessories bag. Fix the Wi-Fi module with short nylon columns and the UNO control board with long nylon columns. Then, buckle the power board with UNO board. Two. Next, we are going to install the servos and assemble the gimbal. Here are 9G servos, gimbal nylon pieces, and the servos' cross arm. Fix the cross arm on the bottom plate of the gimbal with the short screws. Fix the upper and lower parts of servos at the corresponding positions of the gimbal. And then, assemble all parts into a complete gimbal. Attention! The servo angle should be at the center line of zero degree and it can rotate 90 degrees to the left or right. Don't get the servo stuck and make sure no mistake occur before fixing it firmly. Three, fix the UNO control board and power board on the chassis with M3 screws. Fix the Wi-Fi module on the back of the chassis. Use a data cable to connect the Wi-Fi module with UNO board and insert the USB plug to the master control board and mini USB plug to the Wi-Fi module. Link the motor cables to the power board. Attention! The motor cables should be connected with their corresponding terminals in the same group. Battery is fixed on the metal plate on the lower back of the chassis with two nylon bands. Push the DC plug of the power through the chassis from below and insert it into the power board. 4. Fix the gimbal on the chassis and buckle the camera into the gimbal's bottom plate. The brown cable of the servo is for GND, and the red is for VCC, and the orange one is for signal. Plug the lower servo into servo 1 on the power board, and the upper servo into the servo 2. Attention! The brown cable should be outward. Insert the USB plug into the Wi-Fi module. 5. The DuPont cable is used to connect the ultrasonic module. Red pins are for VCC. Black pins are for GND. A5 is for ECHO. And A4 is for TRIG. Then, fix the ultrasonic wave sensor on the front left of the robot car. 6. Cables for infrared tracking sensor have three colors. Black is for signal, brown is for VCC, blue is for GND. 
A3 is connected to the left sensor, and A2 is connected to the right sensor. The blue cable should be outward. Adjust the sensor with a piece of black paper at some appropriate distance and make sure the black is off while the white is on. Rotate the top knob in the counterclockwise direction until the light is off. Then, fix the all set sensors until the bottom plate and remember the distance mentioned above. Test. Turn on the switch and install the antennas. Open the mobile phone's Wi-Fi and connect the signals whose names begin with Wi-Fi robots. Open the software and click Start. If it is Reserve, switch the instructions for front and back. Adjust the servo's angle by sliding screen and click Lock the servos. Send the user-defined command under the ultrasonic obstacle avoiding mode. FF-130-400-FF Tracking Mode FF-130-200-FF Normal Mode FF-130-000-FF Thanks for choosing Q-Man Products.